people ask me, can you really be a Christian and be in the Labour Party? As Christians for so long, we've shouted from the sidelines. We haven't been on the pitch, we've been critiquing, we've been giving our opinions, and we've been speaking up loudly on various single issues, but not actually converting that to an involvement and rolling our sleeves up and getting involved in the process of making law. We live in a situation where in the last 30 years, the richer have become richer and the poor have become poorer. The, the lies that we were sold about a free market, about laissez-faire economics being the answer to all of society's ills, have been proven wrong. We need accountability, we need regulation, we need systems whereby people, it's not just about charity and giving handouts, it's about establishing systems that actually produce justice. Even the most right-wing economists now believe that and say that the bottom billion in the world, one billion out of six billion in the world, cannot be helped by our present capitalist system. That's why it's really important, I believe, to be on the left side of politics, to be arguing for regulation, to be arguing for democracy. The problem with those who make the financial decisions in the last few years, there, there's a disconnect. The rich and the poor, the gap has got so large that the folks who actually make the decisions aren't aware of what the man in the street, the woman in the street, is actually getting paid. The median income in Britain today is £23,000. In surveys, rich bankers thought that that was closer to £50,000. I, for one, know I want to keep speaking up for those here and all over the world who otherwise, if we don't speak, they won't be heard. It's time for us to stop shouting for the sidelines, not just sending the postcards, actually be sent ourselves into the difficult and challenging but amazing world of politics.